I spend around 10 hours in front of my screens daily, as my work and hobby are associated with different devices. If you are like me, your digital life is probably a mess, overflowing with files, images and apps you haven't touched in months. And after a year of no digital decluttering, I decided to clean up my devices and platforms to feel more comfortable, productive and creative. My digital ecosystem I want to show today revolves around three main gadgets. My OnePlus 8 Pro phone, my oldest work HP laptop and my iPad of the 9th generation. But before we dive into cleaning them from the clutter, let's talk about the system I use to store all my files. My system revolves around two types of files, temporary and permanent. This distinction keeps everything organized across three storages. Notion. My second brain for notes, references and knowledge I need daily or long-term. Google Drive. Permanent storage for work files, YouTube materials and personal documents. Internal devices storages. Temporary holding spaces until I sort files into permanent homes. Today I'll focus on cleaning temporary storages, transferring important files and deleting junk to improve performance and declutter my digital life. There is plenty of work to do, so let's get to it without any further ado. First of all, I want to go through the easiest part – my notes. Google Keep is my go-to for quick ideas. But it's become a clutter dumping ground. I use Google Keep for quick fleeting notes I don't want to sort into my Notion right away. And the time to do that has come. Now I'm sorting through everything, moving the gems to Notion, and along the way I'm deleting outdated checklists and clear notes I cannot decrypt for myself and other pieces of clutter. For example, this note with the book quotes, it belongs on my Content Hub page on Notion, and this checklist completely useless now, so goodbye. Google Keep is a cross-platform app, so I'm not trying to find notes in different places and have them on every device. Now it's clean and we are moving to the next dump of mine. I don't know about you, but I'm using saved messages in Slack, Telegram and other messaging apps as a way to quickly share files with myself across all my devices. It's a life hack to do that limitlessly for the poor and smart who don't have Apple's AirDrop. The same principle works here, I'm just deleting old drafts, outdated files and unnecessary quotes. Anything valuable gets sorted into Notion. Ok folks, it's day 2 of my digital decluttering and I thought it would be quicker, but I don't have my camera flying around uh, depicting my decluttering process and recording this video at the same moment, so it takes a little bit longer. Anyway, we are coming to my biggest pain in the ass in this process, it's my gallery. Why is it so painful for me? Just because I use my phone as my video editing device the whole previous years and it quickly became cluttered with different b-rolls, large files and other stuff that made me constantly run out of storage and I only had 128 gigs of internal storage on the phone. That's why it constantly drove me crazy transferring those files back and forth to Google Drive. I fixed the problem. I upgraded my laptop and uh, currently I'm doing video editing on my laptop but the problem with clutter is still here and today we are going to deal with it just right now. So I'm making sure to synchronize everything inside with my Google Photos cloud storage and can delete everything from the gallery, except maybe the last year or so of my photos I want to access quickly. I'm the kind of person who takes tons of screenshots, around 2500 left from the previous declutter at the moment. Most are months old and unused, so I'll either delete them or transfer anything useful to Notion. Ooh, okay, I guess I'm finished and my phone has something like 30 more gigs of free storage, which actually boosts its performance, which is pretty good for the old phone like mine. Uh, am I exhausted after all of this? Yes. Am I feeling like I deserve the medal? Also yes, but <laughs> let's move next. Finally, we approach the scary beast with too much going on inside, but be brave because my browser is my most used app of all. Uh, I have Google Chrome installed across all my devices and as most people 
I have tons of tabs on idle in there. Yeah, usually I just save them to check for later, but you know, like most people never do. So I'm doing that right now for my phone and then iPad to save time. Again, I'm closing the unnecessary ones and putting the ones I need for later in my Notion. Though you cannot tell the same about my laptop, because I found a solution. Toby. This is my genuine recommendation, which is not sponsored. It's a tab manager that outdoes Chrome's tab groups, letting me organize tabs into spaces for specific projects or tasks. Let's say I'm making a research deck for one of my projects, and instead of having 20 different tabs open, I'm putting them in the respective folder within a project space I created to streamline my workflow. Then I can access any of those tabs without losing my focus, because this certainly can happen if I have dozens of them open at the same time. And the last thing to do with my browser. If you want to improve its performance, clean cookies and delete the unused extensions that can slow it down. A couple of years back on my journey to becoming a minimalist, I heard about this idea of zero inbox on YouTube. It's about having zero emails in your inbox by sorting them by status for easy access. Feels good to have zero notifications from your Gmail, right? Just check one of those tutorials on YouTube on how to set it up and you're good. But the reality is I rarely find time to assign all the tags and clean the inboxes, so it's my big cleaning and I guess it's high time. Of course, if you have multiple inboxes, you won't have time to clean them all constantly. So make sure to use this method for the most important and often used Gmail accounts for the most productive work with your emails. I'm done with my emails and I want to share an extra life hack if you are a fan of newsletters, but they bombard you daily with new ones and you are tired of this. Simply create a separate account for all your newsletters and read them only when you have time and desire for it. This will help to keep your other email accounts non-cluttered and focused. Day 3 of my digital decluttering, but don't worry, we are really close to the end. My apps is the category I'm going through across all my devices and there is no difference for laptop, iPad or my phone. The principle here is very simple. If you are not using it for 6 months plus, you just don't need it. Delete and forget about it. I had a couple of apps I installed to give them a try and a couple of those that no longer make sense to me because I'm not using their service anymore. If you are afraid that you won't have an app when you really need it, you shouldn't. In my experience it happened to me a couple of times and with Wi-Fi and mobile internet connection basically everywhere the reinstallation takes minutes. Don't wait until you need it again, just delete if that was a one-time performance. Fewer apps, fewer distractions. I'm not a fan of radical elimination, so I don't think you should delete your social media. I have a separate video about it on the channel, so watch it if you haven't. For now I want to make them more silent and clean the digital space. So the first thing I need to do is to mute the notifications they send me in the setting of each app. Then I unfollow accounts that no longer interesting to me and answer to unanswered DMs. Like this video if you are also a bad interlocutor as myself. And finally go through my saved content to transfer good ideas into Notion and form folders within each app for more structure. And last but not least, after I put all the stuff I have accumulated over the previous year together, I have to check on how my temporary storages are doing. As far as you can see, they are pretty good. I just need to transfer a couple of things here and there from my laptop and phone to my Google Drive. I have a pretty simple structure of files that are usually my work-related and personal folders. Transferring them to Google Drive, deleting the last pieces of clutter from the desktop and we are done. And the last is to use an app like Red Button or PC Manager that can help you to declutter some cache files and other rubbish from your disks. This can help if your laptop is an old ass like mine and not so powerful. Honestly, I'm very tired by now as I'm finished, but I feel good at the same time as I cleaned all the mess I was having before. You know, it isn't about having a picture-perfect digital world. It's about making your devices less stressful and more functional. 
Surely my productivity benefits from it and through this video I encourage you to do the same. By the way, what's the messiest part of your digital life? Let me know in the comments and I'll respond with personalized tips for everyone who's stuck. It was Nick, thanks for watching this video, consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.